On the 25th of December 2022, Russian journalist Solovyev made a post with some very interesting T14 Armata footage, with a caption, Armata goes west. With the title of the video being, Tank Armata is preparing for battle in the special military operation, which basically implies that T14 Armata is, pretty soon, going to Ukraine. And a lot of people took this seriously. So much that some straight up started believing that T14 is already in Ukraine. And it didn't help that some people on Twitter already started sharing new pictures of T14, stating that it is already on the front line. And to the people who want to believe that, it is more than enough evidence that T14 is being deployed to Ukraine. But if we look at the facts, T14 is not in Ukraine, nor is there any serious indication that T14 is going to be deployed there anytime soon. Let's look at the first evidence, Solovyev. Well, if you have been following this war, you are probably familiar with Solovyev. If the name doesn't ring any bell, then the face most certainly should. Yes, it is that guy. The guy who is pretty famous for some outlandish things he said on his show, like using nukes, etc. If he is considered a reliable source of information, then pretty much anything else can be. The footage he posted is, in fact, as he stated, just the training, but he most definitely faked the fact that they are training for deployment to gather some attention. Second, looking at the pictures and videos that people claim are in Ukraine, or close, they do not appear to actually be anywhere near Ukraine. All pictures and videos seem to have been taken on training grounds, but that has all been most definitely for propaganda reasons, just like a couple of months ago when I covered a similar topic. I seriously doubt Russia would risk deploying T-14s to Ukraine, especially after we keep getting footage of T-90M tanks getting destroyed. T-14 might have a hard kill active protection system and protection against javelins, but the most common killer of tanks in Ukraine right now seems to be artillery, and no active protection system can stop an artillery shell falling on top of you from the sky. Not to mention that T-14 can also be detracted and then abandoned by the crew, where it would then fall into the hands of Ukrainians, just like the T-90M tanks. Not to mention that the performance of T-14 would add absolutely nothing to the war when looked from the greater scale. Sure, it has far better combat survivability, but since tanks are being mainly used as support vehicles in this conflict, T-14's superior performance would have very little impact. T-14 is the only tank they have left that has not seen any combat losses, and thus has the best chances of being exported in the future. And the reason I'm saying this is because on the Army Forum 2022, the manufacturer of T-14 Armata announced the export variant of the tank will soon be ready and that they will be taking orders of the tank. Therefore, I sincerely doubt that they would like to take a risk and send the tanks to the front line, especially since they have so few of them. All of that being said, I urge you to not believe everything you read on the internet, especially if the main source is famous for spreading propaganda, be it Russian or Ukrainian. Until we see T-14 on a place that can be geolocated as Ukraine, or somewhere on the border at least, I would not believe any of the claims being made about it. Of course, I could be very wrong with my assessment and Solovyev could be right, maybe Russians will deploy T-14s to Ukraine, but for now I sincerely doubt it. That would be all, if you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.